Hi everyone, thank you for checking out this video. Today we are going to Milan again. Dennis and I come to Milan often because it's very close to Switzerland where we live, so coming here is quite easy and perfect for a weekend trip. Except this weekend, it's quite rainy, well, it's early March, so rain and cold. Milan is one of the biggest towns in northern Italy, it's quite cosmopolitan. This is also a fashion capital of Italy, so it's shopper paradise. The main goal of our trip this time is stuffing our faces. <laughs> some fancy-ish Italian joint, some cozy ones, also a Chinese food. We know there's Chinatown in Milan, but didn't expect to be very lively and quite big. Look at this hot pot, mmm, yummy. We will also wander around town, visit some museums. We gotta use public transportation this time, subways, trams and buses, which is quite easy. We made a video with 10 places you should visit in Milan, so be sure to check it out, link in description. We started our trip this time at Zurich main station Hauptbahnhof. There are multiple trains going to Milan daily, so it takes about three and a half to four hours. We took the direct line to Milan with no transfer. It's quite comfortable, so it's highly recommended. Be sure to book tickets in advance or pay double if it's too close to the traveling date. When it's too expensive, we just drive there. It takes about four hours as well. Well, it depends on the traffic. There's police come checking at the border. Well, you don't leave a train. Arriving at Milano Centrale, which is the main station in Milan, is quite obvious with this madness. The station is massive, it's huge. Navigli is known for its twin canals and its cobblestone streets packed with contemporary art galleries and vintage stores. The neighborhood is central to Milan nightlife, with dining options ranging from pizzerias and wetside chatrolias to edgy clubs and bars. It's actually quite crowded during the daytime in this rainy day. Oh, look at the lovebirds locking it up on the bridge. And the real birds eating the display. <laughs> we are in this house because of this restaurant, Meru Meru. My co-worker, who is from Milan, told me that we have to come here. He said that Milan has the freshest seafood because it has a very big market. We start with this bottle of white wine, which is very crisp. There are three things in this warm appetizer. Mussel, fish and squid. The squid is yummy with Mariano sauce. And our cold appetizer is crudo with three types of fish. Mmm, yummy. Just like sashimi. <laughs> My main is pasta with clam. What can go wrong with pasta with clam? Mm -mm. Then it's had seafood soup. Mm. I thought it was going to be like soupy, but it turned out to be a platter of all kinds of seafood in this delicious tomato sauce. The stomach is full, so we're gonna hit the museum to walk off the pasta. This one is in Bira district, which is in the kind of Asishmazi part of the town. It's called Pinacoteca di Bira. Many of the pieces here are based on religion and divinity. I really enjoyed the architecture of this building. 
Look at the open space in the middle. The barbecue is coming at five. <laughs> We didn't plan to come here, but it's hard not to pass Duomo di Milano, and it's quite central to Milan. This is probably the most touristy spot in the entire Milan. It has a very, very beautiful church. Next to it is Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II, which is a very beautiful complex housing indoor shops and restaurants. Yeah, don't forget to spin three times at the bull's testicles. We ended our day at this cozy seafood restaurant. Yet another recommendation from my coworker. There's a huge display, so you can see how fresh the seafood is. I guess you can also buy these and cook at home. Well, we're not home, so we're gonna sit down and eat everything. <laughs> Just start with a bottle of white again. Hmm, yummy. Living in Switzerland, don't get this kind of seafood a lot. Well, unless you want to pay half of your salary, which I'm not planning for. <laughs> we start with this heavenly tray of seafood: oysters, shrimp, tuna tartar, and the fried seafood. Cannot go without it. The squid and more oyster because it's so yummy. Dennis cannot stop having this oyster. He's crazy. The fact is that. These are six francs each in Zurich, so eat it up, boy. <laughs> Last dish for the day is lobster spaghetti. We are sharing this, but notice one side has a lot of chili flakes. That's right, that is my side. My food has to be spicy. Mmm. I don't think it's really delicious here. <laughs> You be the judge. <laughs> Finish it up with this panna cotta. Mm, clean the palate. Every major city in the world has its Chinatown. Milan is no exception. This Chinatown is not just one street; it is the entire hood, like the one in New York City, which is we are very familiar with. The main thing here is, of course, food. The main street is full of restaurants, big and small. The long line is pork bun. Oh, we came here once accidentally and did not have much time. So this time we explore more in details. Oh look, there's even an ad for Thai beer, Chang. I thought I smelled something funky when I walked into this supermarket. I realized it is this one, durian. I'm not here for durian. I'm looking for yaku. If you're Asian kid, you grow with this, and I found it. <laughs> Again, it's very lively in this rainy day in Chinatown. Everyone come out for food. We found our spot in this hot pot joint. In this rainy and cold day, this is the best cure. There are two sides of soup. The left side is, of course, for me, hot and spicy, and the right side is mushroom for Dennis. Of course, he likes the left side too. <laughs> Who doesn't like hot and spicy? Some of the meats come in skewer, so we just dip it in and it's cooked. The soup comes in this、uh, numbing peppercorn. Oh my god! I finally have to take off my sweater because it's so hot. It is a buffet, so you can eat all of this. Endless options. <laughs> There's no this kind of restaurant in Zurich, so we're gonna go all in. We come to Milan often, but mostly for transfer, so we only use Uber at its convenient. We also didn't want to figure out how and which ticket to buy when taking public transportation. This time we are here for four days, so we want to try it out. Wow! I didn't realize it's quite easy with mobile payment. There is no ticket. You only need to tap in and out when you get on and off the vehicle. It will calculate the fare for you. This works for subways, trams, and buses. Isn't that amazing? 
We ended up at this museum called Mukdang. This is kind of a modern museum. There are multiple exhibitions, some free, some not free. The one that is free is the permanent exhibition. The paid one today is Picasso, which has a long line, so we didn't go in. We are here to see the exposure. It is mostly about history of Italian colonization. I did not hear much about this growing up compared to England, France, and Spain, but Italy also colonized multiple lands too. All in Africa, though, Libya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. I guess that's why Italy has many African populations. After the museum, we ended up in yes Chinatown again. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to try a couple of restaurants here in Chinatown. Look at this gyoza. Mmm. <laughs> we did not have a reservation, but we were seated for only one hour. But that's no problem. We eat fast. We ordered many things, but they were very fast. Each dish just kept coming one after another. Look at this pig ear. Dennis was quite eager about pig organ, but he loves pig ear. One cannot miss Shalong Pao when it's available. On our way back at Milano Centrale, the main station, there is a market with all kind of food. I think this market has the best location. It has tons of food traffic with people coming and going. The price of the food here is a bit more expensive than regular restaurant, I have to say, but it has all kind of options for you. It even has Chinese food. Amazing. Well, we ordered beer to start after walking around for a bit. Then it's settled with risotto with beef. Look at it; it's so yellow. I guess saffron. I, of course, as predictable as it is, order seafood. Look at this; it has three kinds of smoked salmon, seafood salad, and tuna tartar. What can go wrong, right? Well, I think I'm quite done with seafood on this trip. So, what do you think? Do you have more ideas now when you come to Milan next time? For us, we are going back to Zurich to plan our next trip to Milan. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you want to cheer us on making more content, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss more content from us. Goodbye now, Arrivederci.